On to our first story. This evening, the Monetary Policy Committee of the Bank of Ghana has maintained the policy rate at 26%. The governor of the central bank, Dr. Nasir Sahako, cited a balance of risk to inflation and the growth as reasons for the committee's decision. According to the governor, Dr. Nashiru Isaku, the Monetary Policy Committee viewed the risks to inflation and growth as balanced and arrived at a decision to maintain the policy rate at 26%. Inflation declined from 19.2% in March to 18.7% in April. However, with the 5% upward adjustment by the ex-pump prices of petroleum products and its pass-through effect on prices, inflation moved up slightly to 18.9% in May, but declined to 18.4% in June. The recent price developments affirmed the bank's earlier forecast that inflation would peak in the first quarter of 2016 and is currently on a gradual descent. To a large extent, the pace of decline in inflation has been reinforced by the current tight monetary policy stance and stability in the local currency. On the Brexit, the governor said, based on Ghana's strong relations with both the EU and the UK, the impact of Brexit is likely to transmit through the trade sector, foreign direct investment, budgetary support, and the domestic currency. He, however, noted there is no immediate danger, but that a lot will depend on negotiations. If they start the negotiations, would take about two years. And within that two years, there will be a lot of uncertainties. If that uncertainty it's sustained, it affects demand conditions in both the EU area and, and UK. It also affects our export. The central bank maintained that the growth prospects for the rest of the year will be impacted positively by the stability in the foreign exchange market, continued improvement in consumer and business sentiments, and the realization of additional oil and gas productions from the 10 oil fields. 60 graduates are to receive 100,000 CDs each as startup capital under the Graduate Enterprise Development Initiative. The project, which is an initiative of the Export Development and Agricultural Investment Fund, ADEF, will only consider graduates with convincing business proposals. The Graduate Enterprise Development Initiative by the Export Development and Agricultural Investment Fund is aimed at mentoring graduates to become entrepreneurs and support them with startup capitals. At the beginning of its three-year mentoring and business plan workshop in Accra, a professor at the Cape Coast Business School, Rosmond Boahini, affirmed only graduates with convincing documented business plans would be considered. Whatever you want to do should be in the area of agriculture, agro-processing or export trade. We are going to take them through the skills of business plan writing so that at the end of the day they'll be able to articulate their business ideas and how they want to run their businesses in the business plan. And through that we are also going to select the best business plans and that those are the people we are going to sponsor through the EDIF fund. Chief Executive Officer of EDIF, Dr. Osei Boahin challenged graduates to come up with innovative ideas that will provide employment to others. If you come to EDIF and you say you want money to go and buy Gary and go and sell in the United States, anybody can do that. But then you could have some innovative way which will enable that Gary compete with conflicts. Then when you come to EDIF, EDIF says, this is value addition to our gallery and we need to support it. 300 graduates from different tertiary institutions would be trained within a three-year period under the initiative. 